So we have everything we need. Should have, we have food, we have water, cream, mm -hmm. which we got. Got a shower in at any time. So I think we're probably golden. Okay, so you think that one by Voss Lake? Was. All right, let's head to that one, and if we don't like it, we can keep exploring. Okay. Sounds good to me. Where was it we're going again? Um, well, it's a Ford party, and I don't know, there's a whole bunch of really cool wild campsites up there. I've seen them on a few channels, Chrome from Van City Van Life in particular. Um, like, super nice, high-end, things you'd think you'd pay for, and they're free. So we're gonna go up there and explore. Either way, there's tons of fire roads. Uh, we always like to find the remote places to go. So we are now on a fire road heading up to um, a campsite that we found out about. We don't know how legitimate it is, but it's free. So really can't be disappointed. Usually you get what you pay for. Sometimes you get a little bit better. But we have our portable toilet. We have all of the food we need for a couple days. Our swimsuits because hopefully we can swim in this lake. Uh, it's supposed to be good for fishing, so if it's good for fishing, it's usually good for swimming. Now we just meander along this gravel road here, hoping we don't run into any problems. It looks pretty passable, although it's getting pretty narrow. It's an active logging road, so the logging companies will generally take care of them. They don't want their trucks getting beat up. But again, their trucks can put up with a lot more than a Previa or personal vehicles can. But. Um, I know this little beast is good. We've already shaken all the rust off of her on the last forest service road we were on, so uh, we should be good to go. Okay, so we're at the campground. We're literally just pulling in. Camp restriction or stop, stop, stop. campfire restriction or okay. Which doesn't affect us. No, yeah, we're not planning on having any fires anyways, but um, this uh, looks like a pretty decent campsite. Uh, we're just going to see if we can't find something close to the water. Even as outhouses. Quite a few sweet campsites. If it was wet, you would definitely need a 4x4. Four four. It's actually busier than I thought it would be. Yeah, I was hoping on a weekday it would be kind of quiet, but... Uh, Oh, 
foot trails almost. Out our front window. Yes, puppy. <laughs> Tail wagon. And another puppy. He looks like a happy puppy. Look. Look. Hi. <laughs> well, this doesn't look like too bad of a spot. Um, the campsites are all occupied for the most part. There's a bunch that are off the beaten trail that are not occupied. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll try one of those, but right now we're literally parked on the beach. People down there sitting in the water, sun getting ready to set. Some van life people there, some camper and RV people there. This is kind of the heat of it all where you reach the beach. Reach the beach. So I imagine that um, our site, whatever we pick further up, will be uh, a little bit nicer. Um, not quite as uh, occupied, although being this close to the water is uh, pretty sweet. but. Yeah, let's go check it out and see if we want to set up here or if we want to set up down somewhere more off the beaten path. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. If nothing else, we can have supper here and then... Yeah, the sun is getting hot though. I'm going out. going to be full in 11 minutes. And bed is done.
have to say, kale makes such a good meal. Hearty, lots of micronutrients. It's got some good chew to it. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but. <laughs> My favorite time of day, dinner time. Frank's Red, that is like the staple for every meal. Mm -hmm. We literally go through a six liter restaurant sized jug of that, how often? Uh, once every six months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone can't live without their Frank's Red. When I put my phone mount on the dash, I wasn't thinking about using it to uh, film video. Pardon me, askew. That light is on too. Mm. To LED, so it'll go forever. Is it messing up the footage? Nope. It's the only you got this creasiness on my camera. That is messing up. <laughs> <laughs> See the light? Zoom! <laughs> like a little laser beam coming out of that. It's like my van has, the van has lightsabers. <laughs> like Darth Maul. <laughs> Was it going this way before? Mm -hmm. If I go like this. <gasps> it's oh, wow. a star. I wish you could take a picture of that. Well, I am. I'm recording it and it oh, can see yeah. that. <laughs> Someone may not be um, all there tonight. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's just because the lens is dirty. Wow. Mm. Here we go. This will do it. Kind Not of. quite. Almost. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no. In fact, that's probably just <clears throat> scratches on the phone. But the lightsabers are smaller now. And that was not a pretty bite. I'm going to turn this off to spare you guys the gong show. We're actually in the rooftop tent seen us setting it up sometimes it's just nice to spread out a little bit this is the size of a queen size bed with like two more feet at the end so tons and tons of room you can see she's stretching her long legs up mm -hmm. there um, but another reason why we did it is because um, we're at a lake tonight and so the bugs are a lot worse tonight so to still have a lot of nice cool airflow without any bugs because we have the screens in it we decided to go in the tent yeah, we have like four open sides. It's actually yeah. nice. And then also an open roof. So that definitely makes a huge difference. And just to switch things up. Yeah, sometimes it's nice to just have that extra space. We actually didn't convert the bed in the van. Sometimes we just leave that endlessly like that because we sleep in it every night and it's just as easy to do that. But often if we're going to use a tent, we'll put that into the seat and we can like sit in there and eat dinner and prepare mm. and stuff like that. But like, it's so beautiful. We're, we're way up North Island. We came up here specifically because it's getting sweltering hot down south and in Squamish and in the lower mainland BC. So up here at altitude and up here on the north side of the island, we have, I would say it's probably like 16 degrees Celsius right now. And today was maybe a high of like 28, 27, something like that. So this campground is totally free. It's actually pretty sweet. Um, the only problem is that we've got a lot of neighbors. Um, but yeah, it's uh, like 11 o'clock and they're still up making noise. Um, so downside of busy campsites. Um, Although I'm really surprised it was as 
busy as it was. Or yeah, is. yeah. But I mean, middle of summer, I guess. If we wanted secluded, we could have um, wandered way down to the other end of the lake. The lake, I think, is about 10 or 15 kilometers long. I'm sure we could have found a quiet spot around there. But um, this has a nice pea gravel beach. Um, so tomorrow we're going to go for a swim in the morning, um, kind of get our bathe on again. Um, it's always nice to wash the pits, especially for that one right there. I'm missing completely. No, I get it. Look at that video. I was looking at your shadow. Oh yeah, no. If I wanted my shadow to go there, I'd go there. But if I wanted my finger to go there, I'd just go like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So here we are in the tent and it takes like three and a half minutes to set up. It's super, super slick. Yeah, and it's just nice kind of being out in the middle of nowhere, not having to worry about any electricity or any of that kind of stuff. That's kind of a dumb thing to say. Yeah. Who goes camping and worries about electricity? <laughs> but anyways, we're going to hang out for a bit longer and then probably crash and uh, wake up in the morning and uh, plan to go for our swim. So uh, we'll see you on the other side. <laughs> what? On the other side. You're covering it with your face. Hmm? You're covering your face with your hand. Thank you.